Smoke rises on the horizon, a fire rages in the hearts of the forests. You must command your forces from the heights of a fire tower as the inferno grows with each turn. Harness the power of the winds to push the blaze towards the other towers, hinder your opponent's plans with the torrents of water, and unleash an arsenal of fire cards upon your foes. Can you defend your tower and take down your opponents, or will your efforts burn? Welcome to Tabletop Island, I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be taking a look at the board game Fire Tower by Runaway Parade Games. This is a really neat one, so let's first take a look at the components. It looks amazing on the table, the artwork on the board looks fantastic, and it comes with these little fire pieces which look absolutely amazing when the light hits it just right, which seems to be all the time. It looks fantastic, and it replicates the fire on the board. So how the game works, you have your own fire tower, and you're trying to direct the fire towards your opponents in efforts to burn down their tower. Now, there's a few different things that you can do strategically and that involves playing cards in the game you can do things such as spread the fire which allows you to continue to add on to the fire in the direction the wind is currently pointing you can also change that direction too with the direction card that direction card can either tell you where it what direction it goes into or you can roll this really awesome die which allows you to change the direction um, by rolling it and that's more on the random side but sometimes you don't really have much of a choice to depending on what you draw. The other things you can do here is use water and basically water torrents in order to put out fires. Now there's different patterns that these cards show, so those are how you will be laying it out on the board or removing it off of the board. So if it's in a straight line, that'll be how you remove it off the board. And then finally, you have fire break cards which add these little purple tokens which can protect you from the fire because the fire can't pass right through it. However, it can go around it and there's a few cards that can allow you to. While this may protect you, there's cards here that can spread the fire around those fire break cards, effectively getting around everything, which can really set you up for failure. But there's so many really interesting strategic elements, including the firestorm card, which really kind of adds more chaos. I wouldn't really call that strategy, but that basically adds one piece of fire to each of your fire that's already added to the board in the direction that it's currently pointing. So if the fire spreading slowly on the west side, you're adding one to each end on the west. And that can really expand on the board depending on where it's at currently. You start off with five cards. You first, before you do anything, look at what the direction of the wind is and add one fire token to that direction. Now, if that direction is pointed towards you, you probably want to put it over to the side where it's closer to your opponent. Now, I'll be honest with you, this game plays two to four players. I think it is extremely strong with either a two player game or a four player game. I think a three player game is rather weak for this game, mainly because when the wind is pointing in a certain direction, that kind of guides you and sets you up to add fire in that area anyway and when it starts to build up if that direction isn't changed immediately or consistently then it's really just going to be two people ganging up on one person and one person gets eliminated rather quickly that doesn't end up being so much fun rather than having like four people where you're constantly trying to keep it away from you because while someone may be targeting someone else a little bit that may be putting it in your direction and you might not want it there because let's say they do successfully take them out you're the next in line right next to them and it really sets you up for failure so that back and forth action is really strong and obviously the two-player game you only have one person that you're after there's nothing ever going wrong with that it makes it so much better i don't think the three-player game is rather strong but the two and four player game is fantastic but the components are amazing on the table look at this the board is just beautifully done it looks hand painted the um, individuals who created the game i did get to meet at pax 2019 oh it was so great to talk to them they were just fantastic people and the game components are just amazing when you walk past that booth and you see all those little fire tokens out onto the table and lights shining at them it just looks amazing they've thought of every detail just for production itself and it's so fun to look at there's a pouch for all of the fire gem tokens there's a little fire kind of wooden piece that goes on the direction in which the fire 
fire is pointed along with a wooden arrow meeple piece or wooden piece that goes over top of the compass to kind of point the direction also it's a bunch of small added things that weren't really needed and then there's a die here that has north south east west which you roll when you play um a direction card if you decide you don't want the direction on the card itself and then you have these wooden kind of circle pieces for the fire break card um for the fire breaks and it, it's just so well made here the artwork on the board is fantastic they've even added minor things such as this little placeholder to put over top of the water there are the fire towers that aren't being used by your opponents that adds more spaces in which the fire can go over and on the other side of that is what you'll slide over top of your tower if it gets burned down now continuing on with how the game plays each turn you're adding that fire then you're playing a card and you have a set amount of actions here now one of the things that's really important with this is if you get eliminated you still have a chance to play in the game how this works is once someone gets eliminated you add a card into the deck that really allows you to interact while there's only one and you may not see it too too often it is exciting when it does come up because everyone that's eliminated gets to participate they randomly pluck a card from your hand and that gets affected by by everyone oh that's so exciting especially when you can kind of guide the direction of the fire and really just set people up you just don't like for taking you out because revenge is sweet man revenge is sweet and one of the other things too is when the fire starts to build up in order for it to get completely burned down it must go into the triangle so as it slowly expands and when you expand the fire it has to be against an existing flame so as it starts to expand and fills up your tower unless it goes into that square um that orange square then you're not eliminated just yet and you still have a way to put out fires now if you feel like you're going to get eliminated you do have kind of a one time out ish to it and that is the kind of water bucket card that allows you to splash out the fire that's inside of your tower now this is a one time use only so once you use it it's kind of over and this may help you and save you towards the end of the game if it comes down to the wire especially in a two-player game i've seen this get a lot of good use here now i've seen games here that utilize like firemen and putting out fires this one is kind of basically arson where you are just spreading fire and that may not be something that you want your kid exposed to so i understand if that kind of detours you away from this but i do agree that this game is fantastic i think it plays extremely well in the two and four player variant those are the only two i would stand by but the game is easy to teach i think it's fun for the whole family as long as you don't take that burning aspect of the game too seriously i think that it looks amazing on the table these fire tokens alone when you see them laid out people will ask questions the fire spreads each turn and it, it just constantly starts spreading the more cards that you play so it really does end rather quickly it doesn't seem to overstay its welcome now the game is rather cheap i will leave a link in the description where you can obtain it but that is honestly all i have for you guys today if you are interested in notifications there is a bell up there somewhere please like comment and subscribe i do appreciate any feedback i'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous and with your guys help i have been doing so monday regular board game reviews wednesday weekly update slash talks and then on friday is my vintage board game reviews that is all i have for you guys today i will see you guys next time